what are they doing with your art? So we moved from where is your art to what is the person who has it doing with it? Uh, these are things that I actually, they're true stories. <laughs> I'm sure you all have your own stories. Uh, the painting fell off the truck, um, never arrived at the show, where is it? Uh, my clay supplier changed the formula and didn't tell me, so what am I going to do now because the stuff they're making now I don't like, so i got to go find somebody else and I have a show coming up and what am I going to do? Uh, the gallery went belly up with my stuff on their walls. How do I get it back? How do I prove that it's really mine? Um, where are they? Where is it? What happened? Um, the curator's pregnant, and they canceled the show. That happened to a, one of our grantees last year. Um, that's sort of a special case because even if you're in close contact, <laughs> you don't know the curator's pregnant until she does. So that was a real, a real doozy. Um, can you make the dress and the animations blue? We really love the work, but one of our donors wishes it were blue. Can you just make that little change, which of course is not a little change? Um, this is all about relationship management. And good decisions derive from good information. So the more prepared you are, the more information you have, the better you'll be able to handle whatever it is that happens. And all of these things also point to uh, getting your legal ducks in a row. Go ahead, ask for it. The worst they can say is no, and then you'll probably have learned something important about that gallery or uh, moving company or what have you. Um, you have a UCC agreement with that gallery in Arizona, then when they go belly up, you can absolutely prove that it's your work. Um, so it's relationship management, but it's also administration, is keeping track of everything on that side of the fence. So moving on, relationship management. Rub elbows like a CEO. Drudgery pays. Um, for me, going to cocktail parties can be drudgery. Um, some people thrive on it, and they don't like to do the UCC agreements. It doesn't matter what it is. There's going to be some aspect of what you do that you don't really enjoy, but you have to do it anyway or at least you have to hire an expert who can do it, and then you have to keep oversight on that expert. Um, and the way to handle the relationships is to treat everybody the same, um, whether it's you know the, the curator of the museum you're in awe of, or it's that clay supplier. Um, and just make sure you're checking in with them. Um, if you're in sight, you're on their minds, and people buy things from people. So when you think about your collectors uh, or potential collectors, they want to know you. And this is more true in the visual art industry than almost any other. I mean, it, it holds true in performing arts. You see the people standing outside the stage door, and they just can't wait to see whoever it was who starred in that play. And they went to see the play because that person was in it. Even if the play got lousy reviews, they're going anyway. So people buy things from people. And unfortunately, that means rubbing elbows with them. Um, not because you're trying to toot your own horn or talk about how wonderful you or your work is, but because that's just how it works. 